What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick roundup of news regarding eFootball 1.1 on console and mobile which Konami have announced and they've detailed a little bit uh, where we talk about that's going to be the new update coming. Obviously the game is at V1.0 at the moment and now we're going to have V1.1 in a couple of weeks time. Also, we're going to be covering Season 2. So you guys obviously know about Season 1. That's what they focused on. It was new gameplay approach, team building, and licenses, right? So you had all the J-League, the MLS, all that sort of stuff. Uh, with Season 1, you had Legends or whatever. Um, but for now, we're going to be moving on to Season 2, right? So if we go over here to the official eFootball Twitter account, you can see here that they announced console version updates and they announced a, an update for the mobile. So they've announced a little bit of information about it. So we're going to start with the console version. We're going to go through it, um, which basically talks about a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here in a couple of paragraphs, right? So firstly, they're going to be updating the game, obviously, to version 1.1. The events and campaigns for season two, 1 have come to an end, and today marks the start of the preseason period for season 2. So everything up to now in season 1 is finished. It stays with season 1. Think of it like a battle pass, I suppose, in terms of uh, Call of Duty or something like that, where season 1 you know events and stuff is tied to season one now you know we don't know what's going to come in season two they haven't announced that yet um but it just says they'll be it'll be accompanied down here by various in-game events right but just going through here right so version 1.1 update will include include improvements of the win loss decision making in online matches which basically means that you know if somebody is playing you and they're like losing 2-0 and then they try void the match or they try to do you know network tampering or they try to over spike or spike the the connection between you guys or they try to do something naughty naughty that the game will actually see that you know okay oh like you know i'm playing genuinely this guy is playing genuinely player one is genuinely trying to actually play the game it's a lot of genuinely but like it'll 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 give you the win if you deserve the win more accurately and then they've also talked about enhancement of the server capacity and preparation for future initiatives such as data sharing between console and mobile so again there isn't full details on this and i don't want to speculate on it i mean i kind of know a couple of bits and pieces of what's coming um but it does kind of explain it a little bit here that there is going to be some sort of data sharing between console and mobile which is nice you know i've always spoke about you should be able to plan your team and you know use the transfer market and stuff on your mobile when you're way into work or at lunchtime or you know whatever way you're doing it you get five minutes here while you're, you're waiting for the dinner to cook you're able to whip out your phone you're able to check you know what player you want left midfielder obviously we have the database as well and you can check that but if you actually want to sign players in game you could pretty much sign your squad train your squad and then when you get out home in the evening time you're ready to play you know with no messing um so i think that they will probably add stuff like that which is which is huge and also the enhancements of the server capacity so i mean the game has been a huge success so far in terms of downloads whether you're enjoying the game or not or whether you're disappointed with the offline or the edit mode look we've spoke about that before in the podcast you know edit mode and master league is obviously our bread and butter that's what we built uh you know pez universe on originally but i mean i haven't had this much fun Fun playing 1v1 online in a PES game since I would say the old MLO days and maybe PES 2018. Um, I'm more of a co-op player um, and I've really enjoyed PES 2021 co-op and all that but this year I mean I am finding myself itching to play two to three matches a, day, a game even on my lunch break i'm like right i'll go on for two games so let me know your thoughts below obviously we know the limitations of the game at the moment but in terms of pure gameplay i think there's massive potential here and you know whatever way you think about it if you're not enjoying it or you are enjoying it it has been massively downloaded you know since v0.9 there is a serious amount of people playing it across all uh platforms so they are improving the capacity of the server which is huge Obviously, I've spoken about it before as well that I've probably played about 100 games in the last like couple of weeks. Um, and I genuinely would say that I've had maybe four or five, maybe five or six actually of those games where I've had, you know, like bad latency or bad ping or, you know, bad input delay or stuff like that, which has really impacted the game uh, that I've been playing. And, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but it is it is very frustrating. So anything that they can improve that 
will be good but saying that it is still very very good if you can play 95 games out of 100 quite nicely um and you have to understand as well as not everyone has you know a thousand gig fiber or 500 gig wired you know whatever there are some people playing with 20 you know 20 meg wi-fi and uh you know th that's that's just that's just what it is you know what i mean you can't it's it's the same as every other video game in the world people are playing you know on personal hotspots on their phone people are playing wi-fi they're playing public um wi-fi if they live in the town and stuff i know people that do that so you know it is what it is i mean that's something that you can't really control i mean obviously wired is the way to go but not everyone has that luxury or not everyone everyone has the luxury to be able to get you know a thousand gig or 500 gig broadband make broadband so they've also talked about the maintenance period right so i've seen a lot of people complaining about this and yes it does effectively mean that the maintenance period will be from the 30th of may to the 2nd of june which means that the game will practically be offline in those dates right throughout those dates so i think that's probably you know that's very frustrating but you know as i've seen a couple of people tweet you don't know kind of how much you're going to miss something until you actually can't play it and i think that that kind of says a lot for how enjoyable eFootball is but yeah it is it is a bit frustrating that we won't be able to log on and play a couple of games that's a long time in terms of gaming you know what i mean in in terms of gaming that's a long time so hopefully it does it does pass a bit quick yeah but that's something that i'm not I'm not over the moon with because I do, you know, like playing my couple of games every day. Um, to soften that, they have added, they are going to be adding 10 minute matches to offline games and they'll probably add a couple of more teams as well, um, hopefully. And they also say that after the maintenance is complete, the season two is scheduled to kick off on June 16th. So there, there is going to be a break from season one to season two and it's going to be after the uh, maintenance here. So we're going to have the end of season one, which is today. Then we're going to have another week to wait until the 30th of May before the maintenance starts. And then we're going to have season two launching on June the 16th, right? Which will be accompanied by various in-game events. And then they just say further announcements or whatever. So we just have a quick handy kind of roundup here of what it is. Information on the next update, next version 1.1, season two prep, 10 minute offline matches, improvements to PVP, new events and the maintenance period, season two kickoff date, right? Now, we're also going to go back and have a look at the mobile, right? Because I know a lot of people are interested in the mobile. If you're not, you can skip the next three minutes, four minutes. But they basically just say, you know, the update will include for mobile, there's going to be a carryover for mobile. So your device will be updated with the newest version, whether it's on Android or on iPhone or whatever, Windows, whatever new gameplay and they're going to be adding dream team as well as improvements to the win loss decision making we've covered that in the in the last bit adoption of a client server system the maintenance periods will last between that's the same thing as well users can also acquire all this sort of stuff so pretty much the only news to come out of there new that i haven't covered in the console uh, version there is basically that the mobile version is going to be updated that you won't need to do anything if you already have pez 2021 mobile downloaded on your device it'll be updated to v1.1 update um and that's gonna you know add eFootball 2022 with the new gameplay dream team and all that and there is going to be a carryover which we'll get into in a second so over on the official site the eFootball site we've had a bit of news here so the large scale maintenance notice maintenance period we've covered that uh we will now begin la large scale maintenance to prepare for the v1.1 update and season two okay today marks the end of season one along with all the events and campaigns which we covered they talk about the purpose so to bring improvements to the online player v player matches including better decision algorithm for victory defeat and increased server count so again that's all positive furthermore we plan to prepare the server for features that will be released in the in the future such as sharing play data between the console and mobile versions again we covered that a minute ago so what can you do during the maintenance as i said it'll be effectively offline so you'll be able to play 10 minute matches offline against using the trial matches in authentic teams if you go into now at the moment so there'll be no online component for those days they also say they're going to be giving 300 eFootball coins to all users fair enough season two i mean they could have given us more than that but it is what it is and then they talk about the season two update roughly two weeks after the large scale maintenance on the 14th and the 6th so pretty much that is it there's going to be a lot of stuff going on they say here and then the pez 2021 mobile update that official mobile update has been updated as well so they're talking about here there's nothing really added to that only for that the they have this right so following explains carryover and exchange policies for in-game assets from eFootball 21 android and ios 
Owner name will not be carried over. Base squad and information will be reset. Records match history will be reset. Purchase teams will not carry over. Now reckon they'd be restored. So this is a brand new game, basically. Nothing is going to carry over that they say here. Um, uh, video settings, control settings will reset. Country of residence and birthplace will carry over. Birth date will carry over. Um, so yeah, anything like anything you say, like there, you have your base team and your squad information will reset. Your records, your club balance, everything will reset. Your teams, your owner name, everything. So you're going to be starting from scratch. Same as what we had to do on the console. Um, it says also here as well that the current achievements cannot be completed in 2022. It says login bonus and jumpstart login bonus will not be carried over. Uh, item effects um, will not carry over. EFootball22 will not include a friends, fr friends function, so register friends will not carry over. The new online match lobby will allow users to specify other users to play against online, right? So that seems to be a new kind of friend-to-friend -friend mode that um, you can play a friend on cons or mobile. So hopefully that will come to mobile as well. My club coins will be renamed eFootball coins, but the full value will be carried over. GP will carry, carry over as is. Currently held eFootball points can be used in eFootball 2022. So they just give you an explanation here of the base players, the feature players, the carryover player, um, and all that. And then they talk about the legend edition uh, players and how they'll actually operate. So if you've got a legend, Ronaldinho, this is what he'll, in Pez Mobile, this is what it looked like in here, in the new one. And if you've got an iconic moment, Ronaldinho, this is what it looked like here. So there's two legendary now in eFootball 2022. One is a carryover legend, one is a new iconic moment legend. So the iconic moment legend is better. So that's pretty much it, lads. You can have a read through that. There's a lot of information there, but none of it really pertains to, to anything. They've got special trainers. If you've got, you know, trainers will be converted to GP. Um, they won't carry over any agent tickets or anything like that. Other assets. Um, you can see here that you get GP for equal value and all that stuff. So you do get GP back if you do have all, any of these assets here in PES 2021. So that is pretty much it, lads, for a quick cover-up of Season 2, just to cover all the information there. Um, we will continue to continue to keep you updated as best we can. But until that, until the next time, lads, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. Let me know how you're finding eFootball 22 so far. And I will talk to you later. Peace.